Why James Corden and Matthew Horn fell out as they reconcile for Gavin and Stacey Mirror Online James Corden and Matthew Horn are reuniting for the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special You But What's the Truth Behind Their Fallout? James Corden and Matthew Horn were once the very best of friends on not just on Gavin and Stacey. Best known for playing Smithy and Gavin Shipman on the popular BBC show, the duo were also a double act off screens. In the height of the sitcom Andapo, S fame they often attended premieres and showbiz parties together, and also worked on other acting projects as a pair. Corden even admitted that, for a while, he and Horn might as well have been one person. But somewhat out of no suddenly, the BFFs that many had come to know and love were working on more and more individual projects, and barely seemed to mention their friendship anymore. So what really happened between one of Britain and Apo? S most iconic duos. While the pair have never explicitly confirmed a fallout, they first appeared to distance from each other when their joint projects didn't end up. T meet the same critical acclaim as Gavin and Stacey. In 2009, their comedy show, Horn and Cording was branded about as funny as credit default swaps, by one savage journalist, while another simply called it unfunny and joke free. Lesbian vampire killer Saath film they worked on in the same year, Yo was slammed as badly directed, poorly acted, and witlessly scripted by in a second brutal blow, while Corden himself even later admitted that it had been atrocious. Plus, despite landing a hosting gig at the Brit Awards, both actors later claimed their performance was so poor that they couldn't end a po. T even watch it back. As they fell from glory, their end a po. There's no doubt that the bad press was tough for both Horn and Corden to take. There was lots of horrible stuff about us, if I have one regret, it was we just rushed those things. We never stopped to, we did our own sketch show but the reaction was fierce. It was hard to go th in one year we spent 263 days together and we went from that to nothing. Faced with the reality that they were an Andapo. T as popular as they once were, Corden and Horn then stopped speaking for a few months. But their brief separation soon became more and more permanent, and while flying solo took Corden from strength to strength, you eventually landing his own TV show in the US, Yui Horn admits himself that he retreated after their onslaught of backlash. In 2011, Corden was KG when asked about Horn, and told Piers Morgan that they only spoke occasionally. The Life Stories host then revealed mid-interview that Horn had declined to appear on the show. While things didn't end up, T looked good for the pair, speaking to the mirror in 2016, Horn said that he didn't end up. T have any animosity about his former co-star end up. S new lease of fame. Jealousy isn't something I do I am not a jealous person, he said. I am thrilled. Addressing their so-called feud after years of speculation, Horn added that there was never any bad blood between them. However, more recently, he hinted that there had once been some drama, admitting that he was a relief that he and Corden didn't end up. T need to do anything to heal their rift in time for a much-anticipated Gavin and Stacey comeback. Whatever happened between the duo, their return to Gavin and Stacey for the Christmas special is exciting news for fans nationwide, who followed their friendship both on screen and off since it first begun. Speaking BBC Radio 5 Live, Horn said he was overwhelmed by the response from fans about the show and Apo's comeback. We are all really surprised and shocked in a good way he said. He went on to reveal that filming will be taking place in the summer for the one-off episode scheduled to air on Christmas Day. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us.